We are going to show you a few strategies that our first graders can use to solve word problems. Our word problem says Joshua has some books. Lily gave him six more books. Now he has nine books. How many books did Joshua have to start with? Our first strategy is going to be using a tin frame. The students will take six red dots and will place them in order starting at the top left corner. From here, the students will grab the blue dots and fill in the remaining spaces until they re reach the number 9, which is the total number of books that Joshua has at the end of the problem. The students are able to check their work by labeling first the red dots, 1 through 6, and then the blue dots, 7, 8, and 9. From here, the students can do one of two things. First, they can just count the number of blue dots that they have, in this case, one, two, three, to find out how many books Joshua started with, or they can create a number line. They would label the number line starting with the, the last known number, in this case is six, and they would count until they get to nine, so seven, eight, nine, and then they would connect or they would see how many they added to get to nine. So in, the, in this case, one, two, three. At this point in the problem, the students are able to write their number sentence. In this case, they could say three and six is nine, or three plus six is equal to nine. They know that 3, in both of these cases, is the missing number that we don't know in the word problem. Another strategy we use is called the number bond. For this, we draw one big circle that is connected to two smaller circles that branch out at the bottom. The bigger circle represents the whole, and the smaller circles represent different, the different parts in the problem. In our case, the whole is going to be 9, because that's the total number of books Joshua has. For one part, we will write 6, since we know that Lily gave Joshua 6 more books. In the empty part circle, we then count on until we reach the total of 9. So we say 7, 8, 9, which is 3, which is as shown in the number line we did earlier. So we write 3 in the remaining circle. 3 and 6 is 9. When we go back to our word problem, the students are able to use the number sentence that they created earlier, 3 plus 6 is equal to 9, and use that to solve the problem. Joshua had three books to start with. For more student math strategy videos, check out our UH Math Education channel.